discover the secrets of the legendary Wall Street investor, Peter Lynch, and unravel his unique strategy for beginners in the world of investments. In this video, we will explore the six categories of stocks, essential analysis metrics, and Lynch's perspective on long-term investment. Learn how Lynch identifies opportunities in the market and why he emphasizes the importance of patience. Stay tuned until the end to understand how he considers market discrepancies. A journey of valuable insights that can transform your approach forever. Don't miss out. Subscribe to the channel now and delve into the universe of Peter Lynch, how to invest for beginners. 5. Peter Lynch's Investment Method Peter Lynch, a legendary figure on Wall Street and fund manager from 1977 to 1990, achieved an impressive annual return of 29% over 13 years. Lynch emphasizes investing in what you understand, similar to Warren Buffett's approach. Consistency in investments is crucial, as seen in Lynch's long-term success compared to others with higher short-term returns. Lynch, known for his three books, recommends investing in companies within your area of expertise. The five-step method involves selecting familiar companies, eliminating those with extravagant management, ensuring controlled debts, analyzing fundamental indicators like the P-E ratio, and considering growth prospects. Peter Lynch's investment method is revered in the financial universe. Serving as a fund manager on Wall Street from 1977 to 1990, Lynch achieved a remarkable annual return rate of 29% over a 13-year period. His philosophy emphasizes the importance of investing in areas understood by the investor, resonating with Warren Buffett's wisdom. Lynch's distinctiveness is evident in his emphasis on consistency in investment decisions, reflected in his sustained long-term success compared to investors with ephemeral gains. Lynch, known not only for his exceptional management but also for his consistent literary output, key advice to investors is to direct their resources to companies aligned with their competencies. His method, structured in five steps, begins with the careful selection of familiar companies, stressing the importance of investing only in what is fully understood. The second step advocates the elimination of companies with extravagant management, promoting the need for prudent and balanced leadership. The third step directs focus to controlled debts, urging investors to analyze financial health through metrics such as the net debt, equity ratio, and interest coverage. Lynch's method continues, highlighting the analysis of fundamental indicators, especially the P-E ratio, with guidance to compare it with sector peers for a more contextualized assessment. The fifth step focuses on a holistic evaluation of growth prospects, emphasizing the need to align a company's growth trajectory with its current P-E ratio. This dynamic approach, combining strategic analysis of fundamentals with careful consideration of growth potential, encapsulates the essence of Peter Lynch's investment method. 4. Lynch's Six Categories of Stocks Lynch categorizes stocks into six groups, slow growers, moderate growers, fast growers, cyclicals, turnarounds, and undervalued assets. Slow growers include stable companies with low growth, while fast growers are high growth companies, often in the technology sector. Cyclicals are sensitive to economic cycles, turnarounds are companies in the recovery process, and undervalued assets involve discounted assets. Investors should consider these categories based on risk tolerance and investment objectives. Peter Lynch, renowned for his expertise on Wall Street, classifies stocks into six distinct categories, providing a comprehensive view of the investment landscape. The first category, termed slow growers, encompasses stable companies with modest growth rates. In contrast, the second category, fast growers, includes high growth companies often found in the dynamic technology sector. The third category, called cyclicals, refers to stocks sensitive to economic cycles, whose performance is subject to fluctuations in line with the broader economic environment. The turnaround, fourth category, covers companies in the revitalization phase, charting the path to recovery after challenging periods. Finally, the fifth category, undervalued assets, includes stocks related to assets that the market perceives as undervalued offering strategic opportunities for discerning investors. In the stock selection process, Lynch emphasizes the importance of investors carefully considering these categories based on their risk tolerance and investment objectives. 
This weighted and segmented approach provides a solid framework for decision-making, aligning with the analytical and pragmatic style characteristic of the renowned investor. 3. Key Metrics for Stock Analysis Lynch suggests analyzing a company's debt using metrics such as the net debt, equity ratio, and interest coverage. The price-slash-earnings ratio is crucial, but Lynch advises comparing it with sector peers for a meaningful assessment. Lynch also emphasizes the importance of evaluating the company's growth alongside its P-ratio. Monitoring stock buybacks and insider purchases indicates management confidence and alignment with shareholder interests. In the stock analysis process advocated by Peter Lynch, some key metrics play a crucial role in evaluating a company's investment potential. One of the highlighted indicators is the approach to the company's debt, with the suggested use of metrics such as the net debt, equity ratio, and interest coverage. These metrics provide insights into the financial health of the company, enabling a deeper understanding of its ability to manage its obligations. Another essential indicator highlighted by Lynch is the price-slash-earnings -E, ratio, a fundamental measure for assessing a stock's valuation in the market. However, Lynch goes beyond and advises investors to compare this metric with similar companies in the sector, aiming for a more contextualized and meaningful evaluation. Comparison with sector peers helps contextualize the attractiveness of the stock in relation to its competitive environment. Furthermore, Lynch emphasizes the need to evaluate the company's growth alongside its P-E ratio. This holistic approach provides a more comprehensive view of the company's appreciation potential, taking into account not only its current valuation but also its future growth trajectory. Monitoring stock buybacks and insider purchases is another critical facet of the analysis proposed by Lynch. Such movements indicate management confidence in the health and growth potential of the company, demonstrating alignment of interests between management and shareholders. This emphasis on trust and alignment of interests highlights Lynch's strategic approach to stock evaluation, going beyond numbers to understand internal dynamics and corporate governance. 2. Long-Term Investment Strategy Lynch recommends a long-term perspective, focusing on a horizon of 10 to 20 years. If a company's fundamentals remain strong, investors should hold on to their investments, but if fundamentals deteriorate, reconsider the position. For individual investors, Lynch suggests a diversified portfolio of 8 to 12 stocks, aligning with an approach similar to Warren Buffett's. The long-term investment strategy advocated by Peter Lynch highlights the importance of a comprehensive view, focusing on a time horizon of 10 to 20 years. Under this approach, Lynch suggests that investors maintain a broader perspective, allowing the value of investments to develop over time. This long-term approach is grounded in the belief that, over a decade or more, the true fundamentals of a company are more likely to manifest, providing more consistent and representative returns. Lynch advises investors to closely monitor the fundamentals of the companies they invest in. If, over time, the fundamentals remain robust and consistent with expectations, maintaining the investment is appropriate. However, the strategy advocates a reconsideration of the position if there is a deterioration in the company's fundamentals. This highlights the inherent flexibility in Lynch's strategy, recognizing the need for adjustments based on changes in market conditions and company performance. For individual investors, Lynch recommends a diversified portfolio consisting of 8 to 12 stocks. This approach reflects a similarity to Warren Buffett's investment strategy, seeking a balance between maximizing return opportunities and effective risk management. Diversification, when combined with rigorous analysis and a long-term commitment, forms a robust approach for individual investors seeking to create and preserve wealth over time. 1. Consideration of Market Discrepancies Lynch's approach involves identifying assets with incorrect prices, where the intrinsic value of a company exceeds its market price. Investors need to delve into financial statements analysis and wait for the market to recognize the true value. Lynch's method requires patience and a deep understanding of the businesses in which one invests. Peter Lynch's approach to considering market discrepancies focuses on identifying assets whose market prices do not adequately reflect their intrinsic value. 
Lynch believes that significant opportunities can arise when the actual value of a company substantially exceeds its market price. To implement this strategy, investors need to conduct thorough analysis of the financial statements of the companies in question, seeking a complete understanding of their financial health, growth prospects, and competitive position in the market. Investors, when adopting Lynch's method, should be prepared to exercise patience. Identifying and waiting for the market to recognize the true value of an asset can take time. Lynch emphasizes that patience is an essential virtue in this process, especially when it comes to long-term investments. Furthermore, this approach demands a deep understanding of the businesses in which one invests, going beyond the numbers presented in financial statements. This implies a careful analysis of fundamentals, business strategies, and growth potential of the chosen companies. Thus, Lynch's strategy for considering market discrepancies requires not only sharp analytical skills but also a willingness to act with patience, waiting for the market to adjust prices to more accurately reflect the intrinsic value of chosen companies. This approach reinforces the importance of a grounded investment view oriented towards the long term, and aligned with a deep understanding of the fundamentals of the companies. As we explore the fascinating investment strategies of Peter Lynch, it becomes clear that his legacy goes beyond numbers and charts. Lynch's unique approach, focusing on understanding what you invest in, identifying market discrepancies, and maintaining a long-term perspective, provides valuable insights for any investor. If you enjoyed these insights and are looking for more financial wisdom, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like to support the content, and share your comments. Together, we can navigate the paths to financial success. Subscribe now, like, and share your ideas, the journey is just beginning.